What's going on you guys? It's your boy Brandon here and just wanted to make a quick video about two things that kind of just popped into my head as of recently and I'm here to discuss them with you. And tomorrow we're starting off the mock drafts guys. This is gonna be exciting. We got the Jaguars round one and we got some special guests coming in for each team. It's gonna be a good time. We're gonna be meeting with 31 different uh, people in order to for them to get the picks for their team. This should be exciting. Make sure to tune into that. Eagles fans everywhere. This is for you. First things I saw was that players have been texting Jeffrey Lurie about hiring Deuce. Now, I'm kind of conflicted on how I feel about that, right? Because on one hand, are the players going to be upset if Deuce isn't hired or if Deuce doesn't get that promotion that they want him to get? Or is it just kind of like a gesture, like, come on, help my friend out. Like, we like him a lot. Like, let's get him to the head coach position. I don't know. I feel like if Deuce isn't hired and they get somebody that just doesn't click with the team, that is going to do more harm than good, especially going forward when we're trying to build a young core and trying to get the trust of everyone on this team so they can play hard. Because if you can get a coach that players can run through a wall for, you'll get those average players to play better than what they are. You get those just okay players to become average players. I mean, that's just the name of the game. Emotions play a huge role in a game like football when you want when you need to hit somebody when you need to run through somebody like those are different things and if you have a coach that you're just not excited for that is great with the x's and o's and can come up with a pretty good scheme and all of that but has no connection with the players they might not follow through all the way and i'm not saying that whatever coach that they get outside of deuce is um not going to get the respect of the players but I feel like Jeffrey Lurie needs to highly consider how his players feel because at the end of the day, they're the ones out there on the field put, putting in their blood, sweat, and tears in order to hopefully get us to the playoffs and hoist that Lombardi trophy again. So me personally, I think Jeffrey Lurie needs to really take that in, into consideration. So in the comments, let me know what you guys think about that. I mean, I know it's just a mini headline and we're kind of pulling our strings here while we're waiting for a new head coach. But I mean, that's kind of kind of important knowing that the players want a certain coach to be their head coach. Now, the second thing I wanted to talk about was the fact that Philip Rivers retired. He announced his retirement today. Hey, salute to Philip, man. That dude was a beast. He has crazy numbers. I believe he's like fifth all time passing. His sound clips were amazing. I mean, just hearing him talk junk to other teams and everything like that, it's just hilarious. But now that leaves an opening for the Colts. And I don't think the Colts are going to be like, all right, we're good. We have Jacoby Brissett in the building. Like, we don't need to go for anyone. So do the Colts, do they draft someone young? Do they go into free agency and get someone that they can make their own contract with? Or is this kind of opening the door for a possible Carson Wentz trade? I mean, obviously, if Carson really wants to go, then he's going to have to work with the Eagles, restructure his contract in order to make him tradable. Otherwise, I mean, it's going to be hard even if he wants, wants, wants. We may not just be able to afford it. But if that's something, I mean, do you guys think that this is something that can start brewing now that Philip Rivers officially retired and it's not going to sign for another year or something like that? I mean, personally, I I don't want to see once go. I don't want to end up shooting ourselves in the foot and one day being like, dang, if only we kept him one more year because he only had one bad year. We didn't get to see him in a new system. And now we see him in a new system on another team and he's flourishing. I mean, it's all a gamble. But I feel like personally, I want the gamble to stay in Philly. I want to take that chance with Wentz because we don't know if Hurts is the answer. And then if Hurts is not the answer, then we're right back to square one and then we're going to have to draft a quarterback or try to find one in free agency. It's just, it's so, uh, it's a lot. And I know that's going to be definitely talked about because Carson Wentz has been linked to the Colts since the day that they we found out that he may not want to be in Philly anymore. So, I mean, there's other teams that maybe Carson Wentz can play for or something like that, but the Colts seems to be the leading team in all the rumors regarding Carson Wentz. Like I said, 
I want him to stay. I'm hoping that this was just a down year, bad communication, mis didn't trust the coach, coach didn't trust him, like a lot of things going on. I'd rather see once in a new system now, now that we got rid of Doug. We've had those debates in the past. Who would you rather keep, Doug or Wentz? And everyone during the live call-ins and everything like that has put their opinion out there. But hey, now we're just down to Wentz. Doug is gone, unfortunately. And now we just got to see. I think we need to see what he can do and not try to trade him for some kind of value and get out of his contract. I'm hoping that he is the guy that we all think he can be. So... That's my take on that. What do you guys think? Do you guys think maybe this opens the door more for Carson to go to the Colts? Or are you guys kind of like, you know what? Let's keep him here and hope that he becomes the guy that we think he's going to be. Other than that, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Eagles fans everywhere. This is for you.